Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is gonna to be something that I haven't spoken about that much before. Money, finances, spending, saving, kind of getting your, you know, like feeling a little bit healthier and more like confident with your money basically. And money is something that's so important to talk about. It's something that feels really t taboo to talk about. Like I feel like everyone has the feeling that it's a bit distasteful to talk about money. Um, you just don't, like it's, it's just not done. You don't talk about money like your finances and if you're spending saving and it's kind of shameful to it's just so silly that's why i feel like i struggled with it over the years as well and like have struggled with saving i felt really embarrassed to like say oh well i'm not really saving and i don't know how to save really i'm going to chat to you guys a little bit about finances money and also um i'm going to answer some of your questions as well i had quite a few questions on instagram <laughs> as usual at the top of the video i just want to say though i feel like i've never been great with like just great with numbers like great with the business side of things finances taxes that sort of thing and all of it is such a big learning curve for me so I'm not doing this video as saying like I'm in the best situation ever and here's how I did it it's more in the way that look I have found it difficult as well and this is what I'm doing going forward and these are like things that I've picked up more recently over the last year or two that have like helped me start saving better for this video it actually worked really well because netwest asked if i'd like to partner with them and talk about finances savings they actually have a service called a financial health check it's aimed at the millennial you know sort of age group um i feel like we're uh, if you're like around the same age as me i feel like coming out of our teens at uni going into jobs when it was the financial crash so i just feel like it all got really messy for us you know like in the way of money what we could afford what we can't afford with NatWest's financial health check it's so handy you can do it over the phone or you can go in branch um, I did mine I've done mine the other day I had I did it over the phone obviously these days not a lot of us have a lot of time to like go sit in an office or something for like an hour so these chats are, are around like 20 minutes so the aim of the FHC is to is for them to help you kind of reach your financial like milestone or your like whatever your goal might be so if that's like say for me it's saving for a house so from uh, it could be like saving for a house saving for a holiday um just like a, a, just an overview of everything they just want to kind of help you map out what the best ways for you to get there is they have a little look across your accounts um and see what like might be working for you what, what might not be working for you anymore what we did was i i actually opened a new account and it's so nice to be able to feel more in control of your finances what's coming in what's going out where to save etc um and to just know that you're definitely going towards the goal that you have also you don't have to be with NatWest to do it so you can doesn't matter what bank you're with if you feel like having a rundown of everything you can still do it and i feel like they're really non-judgmental because there was some some things i answered and i was like oh god that's embarrassing because i don't know that or like i'm not sure what to say but like everything i replied it sounded like it was really normal for them and that they hear that a lot as well with like especially younger people probably so yeah that's everything about the financial health check and I'll link any information about it down below and thank you NatWest for working with me on this video because I just think it's so important and it's such an easy thing to do as well and it doesn't take that long so I also asked you guys for some of your questions because I always like for there to be a bit of back and forth and I want to see what you guys might be worried about or might want to chat about a little bit more okay so the first question is how do you approach saving I find it so hard to balance as a self-employed person which is so true I I think that's why I found it so hard as well because of being self-employed because obviously when you're self-employed money coming in is really irregular a lot of the time um, like uh, balance wise and also timing wise it makes things I think that little bit more difficult at the moment especially because we're really wanting to be saving for a house I feel like I really try and hold on to obviously as much as I can from each payment and also we always try and make sure we've got like a lot a, a sum of money always there just in case we have a really slow like um couple of months or a couple of weeks or you know a period of time where like not much comes in um something that really helped me as well was is having an accountant because they can obviously look at everything tell you exactly how much you need to be saving for what um and um it's just such a big help and when things do come in um i just make sure i've got enough for the outgoings like obviously rent like indies nursery fees um bills things like that um and as long as 
as long as everything is covered for that month, great. And then the rest of it, I try and just save and like not touch. Uh, that sounds really simple. I don't know if that's helpful, <laughs> but literally we try and just like not touch as much of it as we can. How do you balance shopping and saving? This is a really good one because this is something that I did not want to think about for so long. I was like, no, shopping's fine. <laughs> I'm fine shopping. Like there's no consequences. Um, and then when you get to a point where you want to be saving for a house, then you start obviously thinking about all the small things that you're getting and how everything adds up and at the end of a month you can look at all the all of those small things and things like just getting like delivery and things and seeing how much that all adds up to that you could have been saving um it goes hand in hand a bit with trying to be a bit more sustainable anyway and try not to like keep like going shopping on the high street picking up like everything i see like doing really big hauls and things like i don't want to be doing that anyway for sustainability wise but also that really helps financially because i'm kind of stopping my, myself from getting in that mindset of like of just consuming and being quite addicted to consuming as well and i think when you've got a big goal as well in mind it really helps because when you're shopping around it makes you think even more about buying what you're buying but like saving wise um i think it's a really good idea to have an account where you'll be putting a little bit in there like every month or every few like whenever you can be um and that account is just for your like spending on what you like it's kind of like your treat account so i think that's a really good idea then you can kind of keep track of how much you're spending on items and things that you just really like i think the more you get in the habit of saving as well it kind of gets strong it's a bit like a muscle like once you start doing that and thinking more and i guess being more mindful and like more conscious of what you're spending it, it you know it, it you kind of get better and better at it and you really start to weigh up more like why do you want this thing do you want it just from an impulse or do you you know will you really get wear out of it or use out of it um how do you deal with dips in your income um this is a really good question especially when you're self-employed or especially in like the youtube blogging world always making sure you've got some savings so that even if you've got a really slow month um and so you know you won't be in that panic of not having anything which sometimes can be hard but you'll make sure that you've got that security for yourself because i've been in that position and there is a big dip and you kind of have to go into panic mode and it's so like it's really horrible and that's when you're like oh i kind of wish i had a normal job and you'd definitely have income for that month yeah i kind of learned the hard way with that um but you just have to try and think ahead how is it all in capitals how is any young person supposed to move out with london house prices honestly literally everyone i talk to or everyone who like is based in london we're all like how like how can you even buy in london it's so ridiculous like for the amount that you'll get some sort of like mini mansion out slightly in the country you'll get a one bedroom tiny flat in london so uh, save 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 for like as long as you can go to a mortgage advisor i don't even know because for us like we love london we, but like for us as well especially that we've got indie as well it's just not really realistic and like because we live on the outskirts at the moment like, we haven't even bought at the moment but to rent as well it's so much in london it's totally a personal thing and it totally depends on you like are you like hell bent on living in london and if so uh, i don't know <laughs> just i guess like work for it and save as much as you can there are some government schemes where you can um buy more new build uh, flats and houses a little bit easier the last question is slightly it's kind of not on saving but but it's kind of fun to throw this one in how do you weigh the options on what's worth it and what's not um in terms of purchases well firstly i guess it's can i afford it um is it going to put me in a bad situation financially i don't know what kind of price point you might mean or if it's anything or if it's like a luxury thing or something but definitely with luxury things i'm like can i afford it right now uh, as well as like paying the rent paying for this and that and like trying to save so if you've got like maybe a bit of extra money that month or something and you can afford it great like i said before i try and work out if i honestly like want and need this thing or if it's just coming from like a impulse or a lot of the time actually i leave it and then i'll leave it in the shop and like go back home and then if if i'm still thinking about that thing for days or a week or two weeks then i know that i really do want it i feel like that that's such a good way to kind of make sure you really do want that thing um, and not just be buying it for the sake of it i feel like obviously with the world being so like 
we're all so used to consuming and I feel like it's quite drilled into us to do it all quite fast and like the music that's in shops and everything it's all quite like go 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 like don't think about it just keep spending and ah. <laughs> so it's really good to be thinking about what you're spending on. When you're watching YouTubers as well, when you're like on blogs and things, even though we maybe have bought these things and we're showing you those things, you don't have to buy those things. That's something I wanna talk about in my next haul. Like try not to be swayed too easily and just think about it a bit more. Like, so before I go, I thought I'd let you know like where I'm at with my financial health check right now. I've cleaned up the accounts that I had open. i have made sure they're all relevant for me and they're all gonna help me going forward. Um, like I said, I've set up a new set savings account as well. Oh, I'm also going to look into pensions because that's something that I hadn't hadn't thought about at all and then he also let me know that it's a bit different when you're self-employed so I'm going to be looking into that. So yeah, I just feel feel much more on track and more positive about it basically. So I hope this was helpful and um, I'm still learning myself and I'm still trying to get to grips with it myself so if you have any more questions leave them down below and also I feel like you guys are so nice to each other in the comments like we can all kind of help each other as well down below in the comments that's it from me i hope you liked this i've already said that haven't i i'm back vlogging if you wanted to check out my vlog channel or if you haven't been over there for a while because i did go a bit quiet for a while um so yeah there's new content over there thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye